Hello my friends, I am back with a cool new Funkalicious mixed media piece. So on this rock, I took some scrapbook paper and I am drawing out the rock. And if you notice, I put the pencil on the inside as I was drawing around it. That way it'll sit on the top and you don't have to glue to the edges. Also, I turned the rock over so that it's the right side when you turn it back over. So I am using a Liquitex matte medium. It is by far my favorite thing to decoupage with. I apply it to the rock and to the paper. I get it exactly where I want it and then I just go over the top and make sure there's no bubbles. And I try to use the foam brush mostly for this because if you use your finger too much, it'll start pulling the print up. So you've got to be really careful. So I have gone into a magazine and cut out some letters like a ransom note. But instead of it being a ransom note, it's all about kindness, of course. So I laid my letters down because I wanted to draw a heart around it. And I just want to make sure that my letters are going to fit. Um, this is just a fun, funky piece that I just kind of did my own thing with. And um, I love mixed media. And so I have super tons of fun doing this. So once I got it right, I went over with a Thule Art fine liner pen and just made my line a little bit darker. Now make sure after you do your decoupage you let it dry completely i let mine dry overnight um but that was just my choice i wanted to make sure that it was dry uh, but you won't see drying time on the video so i wanted to make sure to point it out now i'm using liquitex basics paint and i chose yellow and red because it's super transparent and i want to see the writing through the paint So I started out with the yellow and now I'm doing red and as you see I'm using a super fluffy ratty brush and that's because I want the I want to feather that red in. And so I'm getting all around the edges and then I'm feathering towards the inside with that brush. Now I'm doing a second coat. I let that first coat dry and now I'm going through and applying just a little more red. You can still see the writing through it, but it's not as visible as the yellow. And now I'm going to apply the letters. Now this is a magazine paper, so again, you want to m not touch the top as much as possible because you will start taking that print off with your finger. I just want to make sure that those edges are down, but uh, I know on one of the letters I took a little of the print off because I messed with it too much. <clears throat> this was super fun. I've, I've not done one with cut out letters before, so thanks Teresa for the idea. She gave me the idea and I ran with it. Risa White, I think that's how you say her last name. Sorry if I slaughtered it, Risa. Now I'm taking Liquid Pearls by Ranger and I have this bright orange and I'm making like these little spiky things all around the rock. So I just basically dot and drag, dot and drag all the way around the heart. And now I'm finished and I'm going to let that dry completely and I'm going to start dotting. So I'm using Black Raven by Culture Hustle. No, not Culture. I'm sorry, Kurt. It's by um, Stuart Simple. And um, it's, it's my favorite black. You don't have to use this black, but uh, you know, any of your blacks will work. Uh, I have, this is a special 
one that I have mixed up. I use uh, Liquitex pouring medium mixed with my paint, my thicker paints, to get my perfect consistency. And um, but you can use whatever black that you would like to use and uh, mix it up. I will try. I did do a live on how to mix my paints for dotting, but um, I will try to get a video made of that separately here in the next week or so. And uh, my dotting tools that I used are the DIY Mandala Stone uh, dotters, and those I get on Amazon. And then these other ones are just from Amazon. Uh, you'll see them if you put dotting tools in. They're just multicolored regular dotting tools. I prefer the DIY style better. Um, I've been through so many dotting tools and I've had so much, so much of a hard time dotting that I finally got the right tools and I finally got the right formula. So um, my dotting's getting better. It's still a little wonky, but... Um, I'm trying not to let my OCD come into play here. So this is just a random dot flower thing that I was doing at the top. I really didn't have a pattern in mind. I was just doing little designs. And uh, I just did walk the dots on the bottom corners. Um, it's just whatever you want to do is, is basically what this is all about. I like the black on the red, so now I'm just doing random dots everywhere. And you just have fun with this. Just play and enjoy your time and relax and don't stress. And I'm using a baby wipe to wipe my paint off only because it has pouring medium in it. And I want to make sure that I get it off of my little uh, dotting tools. So now I'm back to the, the liquid pearls. And I'm using a bright green just for a little green accent. Brighten it up a little bit. You don't have to use pearls, by the way. You can use um, a like a metallic paint and then uh, a dotting tool and like around the edges you just do a dot and then drag um, so you don't have to use the pearls it's just something that I have and um, I'm trying to get better at the tension that you need to hold to get it to squeeze out just right so I'm trying to use them more so I did a couple of little hearts and now a couple of little flowers um, but it's up to you on what you want to do now I'm doing the swirl And now I'm taking the yellow just because I want it to have like just a little texture. Um, I'm try I tried to match the same yellow up with the with the liquid pearls. And you'll see at the end I show a up close picture and you're gonna see the dots a lot better. With that light on, it doesn't show the dots too well. Now I'm taking like a pearl one silvery pearl and I just did a little line at the top right and then this orange one I was trying to do like a little tribal sun thing and it wasn't really coming out like I wanted it to so um, I'll go back later and add a little color to the inside but I still left it because hey we're just having fun right and I went crazy with this rock. You don't have to go crazy like me. I'm I'm all about being extra and I don't know when to stop so I just keep going. So I'm using a Posca glitter pen for the uh, peace sign that I just drew. Uh, I didn't have purple in my pearls yet. Um, I'm slowly building my collection so I did use the pen. I added a little more extra dots where I thought I needed them. And this is where I filled the sun in a little bit with another color. And I was thinking about doing another heart, but then I changed my mind. 
Now I'm taking the liquid pearls in blue and I'm putting a second layer over the heart frame. And it's just to kind of build up on that, that frame. So I hope you enjoyed watching my whole crazy process. Um, I had tons of fun with this one. I hope you give it a try. Hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.